We're just going to show you the pressure decay leak test. Uh, at the end of the pressure decay leak test, I will, I will shut the machine off because it wants to do its uh, hydrogen test after that. Um, we would give you a machine or just as pressure decay. So begin the test. We hit reset first and then start. We control the amount of flow into this into the coils with a needle uh, valve, a flow valve. You can see the pressure drop, immediate pressure drop. And now the unit's going to, we're letting the unit stabilize pressure and temperature for one minute. And that can, it is displayed on the elapsed timer. You're now at 20 seconds. Plate fit or plate, flat plate heat exchangers because of their mass um, require a longer settling time to make sure that the temperature is, is, is a constant. Okay, we've taken a snapshot of the pressure. And now we're reading the difference from that recorded value. As you can see, both units appear to be very tight. Now I'm going to shut the machine off, but as you can see, the difference <coughs> between units as far as the pressure decay is concerned is, very, is under the half pound limit, and they're pretty consistent with each other. I'm going to hit reset, those numbers will go away. And that is the pressure decay test. Part, is a, part of our demonstration, I'm going to attach a calibrated leak standard. And what this is, is a small stainless steel capillary tube that's been crushed uh, to the leak rate of 100 ounces per year Refrigerant R22. Um, unfortunately, that's the way we create our standards. I don't have the, the cc per second equivalent, but I will demonstrate the leak later in water. But for right now, I'm just going to attach it to the side A side on one of the quick disconnect fittings. Okay. Close the hood. Reset and start. If you remember, the preset for the leak in this particular model is uh, half a pound, 0.5 pounds. We have a 45 second stabilization time and a 25 second test time at the end of the stabilization period. Twenty seconds into our stabilization time. This system would be integrated with our helium leak detector uh, that we'll be demonstrating shortly. Now in our pressure decay leak test time period, the time period is 25 seconds. And you can see by the results that the one unit failed with the, with the leak attached. Do the test one more time with the leak disconnected.
or settling time, stabilization period, 45 seconds. You can see the slight decay of the unit pressure readings. All the presets would be determined by modeling a good unit. And they would give us both the time and pressure differences over the test time required by the engineering group. See they both pass, they hold stable numbers of half of what the fault value is. Now I'm going to hook this up and show you physically. I'm just going to give you a brief display as to the amount of leak that that machine just detected. All I'll do is charge the start a standard charge. can test at a higher pressure, you will find a, a, leaker, a leak sooner. 